Oh, um, I just heard a torpedo shot. It would appear that uh, our friendly U-boat 1023 does not hold the same values that we do when it comes to neutral targets. Um, she is killing the neutral NA-1. Hello, YouTube. I am Lightly Salted, and welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to the U-Boat in U-Boat. We've recently returned home from our last fun little mission, where we tangled with yet another HX convoy out in the middle of the Atlantic, and of course won the day. Alright, and as you can see, we have unlocked literally all upgrades for the ship. All technologies have been researched. We are as maxed out as we are going to get. Let's go ahead and talk to the shiny car guy and see what we can do about a mission. CE was very good to us last time around. We've got uh, espionage in Cardiff. I have picked up the research for this mission, so now we will get an indication of where the subnets and the um, mines are. Uh, or we can go AM in general. Now, AM sounds like a lot of fun to me today. Uh, we've done Cardiff recently, so I'm thinking AM is where I want to be. So we'll go ahead and lock that in. Okay, nothing left to do but to get out to Sector AM. It would have been really nice to have this uh, waypoint unlocked. Unfortunately, that's not in the cards for us today. Um, gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way, I suppose. So I'll go ahead and lay in a course, and I will see you shortly. Alright, we appear to have picked up uh, new orders, even though we've literally just left the dock. Um, one of our U-boats were, were attacked by aircraft, suffered heavy damages. They want replacement parts. We are... Um, well, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> apparently, the U-boat that requires parts is uh, well inland in uh, Ireland. So, um, we've met our first bug of the mission, that's certainly true, and I'm going to go ahead and say that's a trap, because if we have to march a few, um, a few miles inland to help out a U-boat, um, it's probably not for the best. So unfortunately, BDU, we're going to have to ignore that one. Alright, we have reached Sector AM, go ahead and call that home. Uh, we're going to head off towards this, uh, waypoint, I'd like that unlocked for future, uh, endeavors. And that U-boat is still well, uh, well off the coast. So, yeah. Okay, we have a contrail spotted. Um, it may or may not be heading towards us. I'm gonna go ahead and slow down to speed 3. We'll keep going the way we're going. It may have missed us. Uh, we're gonna have to wait and see. And yes, that contrail apparently did not spot us. Okay. Okay, we've gone ahead and unlocked that checkpoint now. Fantastic. So let's get on up to where the hunting should be a little better. Uh, usually you'll find quite a bit of traffic in this area. So let's go ahead and get that done, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, contrail spotted. It is moving away from us. It would appear that the aircraft did not notice us. Okay. That's two. Okay, I'm thinking right about this area is where I want to get the boat under and start uh, listening real close for some sounds. Go ahead and get the snorkel up, Mr. Taff. Thank you. Mr. Centurion is operating the valves for us. Fantastic. All right, we'll swap over to Electric's uh, maximum range and see what we can find. Okay. Um, I don't really understand how that happened, because anything that was in the water there we should have seen while on the surface, but okay. Um, sure. Let's go see if we can find it. 
We appear to have lost the contact at this point, which is interesting. There it is. Uh, all right. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Some interesting stuff happening in the game here today. Um... We do apparently have a U-boat in the area with us. Uh, that's probably not making it very easy. They're likely scaring whatever it is we're chasing. Um, so that's less than ideal, obviously. Okay, so we have picked up transports there to our south. Uh, we have a neutral target at this point. Uh, this target is not alarmed, so that U-boat did not give away everything just yet. Um, I'm wondering if there's any other targets. If it's simply a neutral, I am going to leave it be. BDU has something to say. Now is a great time, BDU. Thank you. Okay. Um, the Freighter Empire Lancaster must be sunk. Okay. Uh, where's that at? That is over there. All right. Let's um, let's worry about this tanker first, shall we? Um, I'm feeling like this is a this is more of a deck gun moment than anything else. Uh, a tanker and a neutral freighter don't pose much of an issue. Let's go ahead and raise the boat and prepare to uh, see if we can blow her out of the water. Taff, man the deck gun, please. I find myself wondering where they hide the fuel precisely. It doesn't appear to be midships, it doesn't appear to be forward or aft. This may be an example of a freighter, sorry, a tanker that does not have oil in it. Which is interesting. Um, a little irritating, but interesting. And she is now sinking. Well, that's very unfortunate. I was kind of hoping for an explosion. Hmm. Yep, there she goes. Well, anticlimactic. Very well. What can you do? Alright, and I believe we have another target heading away from us at fair speed, so we'll stay, uh, we'll stay running pretty quickly ourselves and see what we can do about finding the Empire Lancaster. And allow the neutral target to carry on with whatever mission she was on. Did you hear... Oh! Um, I just heard a torpedo shot. It would appear that uh, our friendly U-boat 1023 does not hold the same values that we do when it comes to neutral targets. Um, she is killing the neutral NA-1. With three torpedoes, interestingly enough. Okay. Well, the Swedish ship Fram... Uh, is gone. She has been, uh... Whew. Uh, they've blown her to pieces. Well. Okay. Uh, U-1023. Um, no mercy. No survivors. Okay, we have more or less found where our target is hiding at. Unfortunately, we can't see them just yet. Uh, we'll run on the surface for a while longer at max speed until we're a little closer. And um, then we'll slip under and see what we can do with the hydrophone. Okay, we have a lock on them now at this point. So I'm thinking the best bet is to get the boat under now. And we will catch up to them and see what kind of damage we can do. Okay, and we have found the convoy we are looking for. Um, we appear to have a Liberty right off the hop. Let's go ahead and figure out where she's heading. All right, we have the Liberty we first saw, a tanker, and an as-of-yet unidentified target. And our happy little trio appears to be heading uh, 5.7 knots. That's uh, fair speed. I wouldn't have expected that from something with a 
uh, tanker online. Okay, so my protractor tells me 80, and something I've picked up very, very recently, um, it turns out you can just plug in negative numbers. You don't have to do the math if you don't feel like it. Uh, so we know what it's heading, w we know the uh, ship is heading west, so rather than do the math at 360 minus 80, we can simply plug in negative 80, and the game will do the calculation for you. So let it be known that uh, even with coming up on the tune of 300 hours in game, you can always find something new to learn. What I'd really like to do is get in between uh, those two ships. That would be ideal as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so our trio turns out to be a foursome, which is fun. Um, we've got to plug in their speeds as well as their course. Let's go ahead and put in the 5.7 that they are traveling. You know, it might be more beneficial to get somewhere out in front of the convoy, say here-ish, and take a shot at all three targets. I'm considering it. I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So I'm going to go ahead and steer out around, and I'll see you shortly. Okay, this is a little more like what I had in mind. Um, if we could fire at this ship, then this ship, and then this one, that would be quite interesting. Okay, the lead ship is a C-3. Um, that's our farthest target, our tanker, and our initial liberty. So let's go ahead and worry about the C-3 to begin with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw two torpedoes at her, and I am going to actually mess around with the depth. Now, in the previous uh, tutorial episodes, we had talked about never, ever, ever touching the depth. And it's still sort of hit or miss, to tell you the truth. There are days you can set your depth and get a kill in one shot. There are days you can set the depth and the torpedoes will absolutely miss no matter what depth they're at. Um, so take this with a grain of salt if it does pay out. If it does not, uh, my apologies for bringing it up in the first place. Okay, distance check to target is... Right about there, and fire. Force! Okay, second target. Close out this. Second target will be our tanker. Um, what kind of tanker is she? I don't believe her to be an OL class. She's not a Dale. She's not a war class. Wave class, perhaps. I think she's a wave class. Alright, we'll flood a single tube for her. We're going to go ahead and make sure we set our depth back down to 1.5. Uh, the depth does not reset between targets. Please keep that in mind if you decide to play with it. And that looks good for that. Final target being our Liberty. And I'm going to give her two, and I'm going to put the depth at two and a half. We'll just see if that works out for us. Alright, distance to target is... kind of blurry for reasons I don't really understand. And something to the tune of this. Okay, so we tried three meters at... Um, the C3, and we've tried two and a half, I believe I set, for the Liberty. Let's see how that works out for us. Um, the torpedoes appear to be on track currently. We'll find out if they're actually going to hit or not. One impact on the C3. Two impacts on the C3. We have a single impact on the Liberty in the background. No impact. Ah, there we go. We a hey, we have hit our tanker and we've set her fuel alight. Fantastic. Okay, so our depth uh, altering worked out for us very well this time around. Uh, again, that was a three meter draft for the first volley. I believe a two and a half for the second. Okay, so our three our C three is gone. Our uh, wave class has sunk beneath the waves. Um, our Liberty, unfortunately, is doing quite well. She appears to be uh, hanging in there very nicely. Um, 
looks a little unfortunate, honestly. Uh, she is an armed vessel normally, and I believe, yeah, she is armed now. Um, it's less than ideal. Um, okay. So we must have hit our target because my, uh, my indication here is gone. Oh, I believe the Lucy just became abandoned. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and increase speed, raise the boat. And we shall, uh, mop up the rest of this, uh, this little campaign we've got going on. All right, we are calling back for 24,800 budgets. Um, I don't believe that's going to count the Lucy as she has not completely sunk yet. Uh, she looks like she will, in all honesty. I don't think I'll need to deck gun her. Yeah, she's going down. And there goes the Lucy. Well, well. Okay, as we're coming up, we're going to go ahead and uh, chase down our finer, final target, which I believe was an Empire class, yes? Um, yes, she's an Empire... Oh... Bell, perhaps? No, Empire Explorer. Okay, we'll go ahead and max out our speed. Um, and we're going to get uh, Mr. Taff on the deck gun for a little deck gun hype. Let's adjust course ever so slightly and start laying a little love on target. She is a rather stubborn little boat. Her crews are doing a fantastic job at getting those fires out, I must say. Farewell, Empire Longstone. Um, so our biggest issue now is eating up mileage, so let's go ahead and run a search pattern. If I find something interesting, I will let you know. Okay, uh, our search pattern didn't turn up anything, we've completed our patrol. Um, so realistically folks, at this time I'm gonna have to take her home. Perhaps we'll uh, find some aircraft or something else interesting on the way back into the bay. Speak of the devil, we have picked up a contrail, yet again. Um, did she see us? That's the question. Uh, this appears to be a depth charging, dropping kind of thing. Looks like a Sunderland to me. Um, okay. Now, um, we could probably get away with diving, uh, and that would normally be my first uh, my first thought. Uh, where she is so far away. Um, I think she's beginning to turn, however. I think we'll keep running, because if she is just making a quick turn, she's going to get to us before we can make it under, under the water. And then we can't even fight back. So, for now, I'm just going to run on the surface. She appears to have not, uh, she appears not to have seen us at all. So, let's just run with that concept for now. Uh, yes, she has passed us by altogether. That's three aircrafts, this, uh, this patrol, that have paid us no mind whatsoever. Perhaps our reputation precedes us. Don't mess with the U-boat. Alright, we've put back the dock. Fine bit. Mr. Devin Knox has picked up the U-Boat War Badge. He has now participated in two war patrols. That's interesting. I really thought Mr. Knox has been with us for longer than two patrols. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Taff has picked up some points. And me being the skip, we all know how that goes. Okay, we sunk uh, 41,742 tons in 7 days, 22 hours at sea, with a total travel distance of 39,533 kilometers. We managed to put down 5 ships of our own, and we've also been credited with the, well, um, neutral kill 
the Fram that our uh, that our NPC friend decided to throw three torpedoes at. So I mean, there's that. Uh, we picked up everything except helping our ally, which realistically would have been impossible. Um, my boat's not going to go up on land, so I mean, that's cool. I think I heard a level up. Yes, Mr. Centurion. A level up for you, sir. Let's go ahead and get you repairs take less time. Fantastic. Alright, folks, I'm going to be shutting down the episode here. Uh, decent little patrol. We got to see some excellent fireworks. Um, so... When it comes to the depth settings on the torpedoes, again, take it all with a grain of salt, uh, no pun intended. Um, again, I've I've went ahead and used depth settings and they miss completely on ships that they absolutely must be able to hit. Uh, say a ship with a draft of 8 meters, you set it to 4 meters and somehow it goes underneath the ship. So use it at your own risk, I, don't, I still don't recommend it at this time, but if you want to play with it, absolutely go ahead. Um, if anybody has noticed a change in the quality of the sound, uh, please go ahead and hit me up in the comments, let me know what you thought. Uh, this is the first video I'm making with my brand new mic. Again, a big shout out to, the tr to my Twitch community who, uh, who helped me pick this up. Consider leaving a like and subscribe if you haven't already. All the links to my social media can be found down below in each video, and as well as on my about page. Consider joining the Discord, it grows by the day, and anybody who follows me on Twitter gets an advanced heads up as to when I will be going live on Twitch. With that all being said, until next time, I have been Lightly Salted. Thanks for tuning in. Bye now.